Hi everybody, welcome back to 37 Days. Today is January 25th, and we're gonna get going on a great Devo today. The title of our devotional is called God's Anointed Deliverer. This takes place, the beginning of it, the prophecy of Cyrus in Isaiah 45, one and two, and you'll see the scripture there in your Devo. But I wanna concentrate on our second scripture towards the bottom, that's Isaiah 46, nine and 10. And this is where uh, Daniel, kind of a little bit of background, is where Daniel has served under four kings. And Cyrus is the fourth king that he has served under. And this is an incredible story of the awesomeness of God. This is a story of God's plan, his way, and his glory. So I really want to dive into that. There's a lot of talk these days about Cyrus, this king that was prophesied about 150 years before it came into being. But I want to focus on a deeper meaning, I believe, which happens in Isaiah 46, 8 to 10, where it says, Remember the things I have done in the past, for I alone am God. I am God. There is none like me, only I can tell the future even before it happens. And this refers to the prophecy that was given 150 years previous to Cyrus. Everything I plan will come to pass for I do whatever I wish. What I find interesting in here is God does not say, remember Cyrus. God didn't say, look for another Cyrus. God said, Remember the things that I have done for my name's sake, for my glory. The beautifulness of this incredible story is it is his plan, his way, and for his glory. His plan was to deliver his children. His way was through a man, and his glory was for his name's sake and no one else. God says, look what I have done. Wherever you're at, whatever you happen to be dealing with today, remember, God does use people, and we are thankful for that. But return the glory to God, because we definitely want to be in His plan, His way, and for His glory. Let me just pray over you real quick. Father, thank you for your word. It comes alive. It's active. It's powerful. We are so thankful and we do stop to give you glory for your awesomeness, the one great King. And we say, Father, today we take time to remember and to give your name glory and praise forever and ever. Amen. Have a wonderful, wonderful day.